What's up, gang? On today's Diano's Perspective, we're going to take a look at a lot of the news that's disseminating still out of Gamescom over there in Germany. Uh, we're not going to get through all the news. We're just going to get through some of the things that really stood out for me, including a natural release date for the PlayStation 4. Very exciting. Let's get started. <laughs> going to start off with Microsoft side of things. There were a lot of announcements that I really liked. Uh, you have a confirmation of more than 20 day one launch titles for the Xbox One that will launch day and date. Things like Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Crimson Dragon looks really good. I'm particularly excited about Dead Rising 3 coming out of Capcom Vancouver. That was looking like a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed the Dead Rising series. It's had some problems, but this one looks really good, and it is Xbox One exclusive. Uh, let's see, what else? Killer Instinct, I think, is going to be a, a really great one as well. It's going to be free-to-play. Yes, you only get Jago as a part of the free-to-play model, but you have a couple of options here. You can either buy additional characters for $5 each, or you can buy the entire game for $40 straight up and you get all the characters, all the little extras and whatnot, including the original Killer Instinct, all in digital form. So that's really awesome news. Then, of course, you have things like Watch Dogs and whatnot. Now, so, uh, exclusive content that was announced for the Xbox One, there'll be exclusive content for The Division, uh, which is Ubisoft's sort of MMO, third-person shooter type of game, which is, it's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to that game. No real word on what this exclusive content is going to be, but I'm sure that'll be announced leading up to the launch, which will be sometime in November. Also newly announced is a new Fable game, Fable Legends. Uh, think of the Fable that you know and love. Add three of your friends to it. And you've pretty much got Fable Legends. Now, the cool thing is, is that three of you are playing the hero, but one of you is actually playing the villain. You kind of have a top-down perspective, and you're able to, to set traps and obstacles for for the other three characters to overcome. I think that one's it, it at least looks interesting. It's a great new exclusive to the Xbox One lineup. On the Sony side of things, it's like they went announcement crazy. The, the, there's so much new stuff, it's, it's kind of hard to, to make it all out. Uh, at first, like the, the big thought, we all knew that both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 would offer a type of streaming service. At that time, it was Xbox One that was going with the very popular Twitch TV, which is pretty much gaming-centric, and the PlayStation 4 was going more towards Ustream. That, that, that's, at least that's the understanding that I had. Uh, today we found out that Twitch TV integration will also be a part of the PlayStation 4. And here's a bonus that also included with each PlayStation 4 is a 14-day trial for PlayStation Plus. And that'll come with the PlayStation Plus version of the new game Drive Club, which is a launch title for the PlayStation 4. And also, Housemark's new game... Uh, bu -bu -bu. It's... Ah... Resogun, it's a, it's, they're very shooter-centric. That's what this is going to be. That's going to be a part of the Instant Game Collection as well. Uh, there are also a couple of new game announcements. There is one by a developer, The Chinese Room, called Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, it looks like a first-person adventure, more or less. I, I don't really see a lot of shooting or anything like that, a lot of action. Uh, they're more known, the Chinese room is more known for their deep storytelling. Uh, this is going to be a game about the end of the world, or you're, you play basically a scientist at the end of the world, and you're just trying to figure out what happened, and you'll go through this massive adventure in this open world in a first-person perspective to figure out what's what. That sounds like it's going to be interesting. Also, a game that really has my interest is this game called Rhyme from, and you got to love the developer name. The developer's name is Tequila Works. Love it. Love. Yes, it does. Tequila does work. Uh, but this game kind of reminds me more. It's, it's an open world adventure game, sort of shades of, uh, say, Journey or Eco or Legend of Zelda is, is what it looks like to me. Open world, third person adventure game. 
I'm really excited about that one. Uh, also, we have the announcement that Minecraft is coming to the PlayStation 4. Yay, yet another thing to play Minecraft on. I, I'm not into Minecraft. I'm, I'm not a player. Sorry. That, that game just does not do it for me. Also, you have a huge list of indie game announcements. Like, they spent a large portion of time at Gamescom, uh, at their press conference, talking about indie games. And there's a lot of them. Uh, there's Fez. There's uh, N++. I'm a big N++ fan. I was like, I kind of like that. Rogue Legacy, Starbound, uh, Velocity 2X, Volume, Wasteland Kings. That is not even all of them. It, it, it's a huge list. They are going really, really big with their indie games. Now, the biggest news, the biggest news that we've had come out of this is an official launch date for the PlayStation 4. It will be launching in the United States on November 15th. Mark your calendars and get all those pre-orders ready. Um, over on the other side of the pond, European launch date, I believe, is the 29th. A little bit later, but still in the month of November, so it's going to be a very, very busy month. That is, if we're all done playing Grand Theft Auto V slash Grand Theft Auto Online at that point, which I guarantee I probably won't be. Also, here's a few quick hits. Let's just throw this stuff out there. Uh, PlayStation Vita price drop, $100 off the price tag, and the price tag for that is now $199. Vita wasn't doing too well in sales. I think a $100 price cut will help a lot. The memory cards will also be seeing a price drop. No numbers on there yet, but it should definitely help. Also, on the PlayStation 3 side of things, you have Little Big Planet Hub being becoming free to play, which seems to be a big thing that Sony's doing right now. They have a lot of free to play titles out there. Yeah, you've got, of course, things like DC Universe Online. You've got Uncharted 3's multiplayer, which recently became free to play, and now Little Big Planet's following suit. Uh, you, there'll be 16 levels included with with the package, and plus you have all of the user-generated content online, so there you will not have any lack of things to play. Over 500 levels, it should be a lot of fun. The console war is heating up, and it should be interesting to see how all of this plays out. Now, I have to be honest, like I'm, I'm looking at the launch lineups for both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One right now, and I got to tell you, there's a lot more games that I would be interested in playing on the Xbox Ones. You have, like I said, um, Dead Rising 3, uh, that would be fun to play. I think I'd get a kick out of Killer Instinct. And one that I forgot to mention earlier, Peggle 2, is going to be a launch title for um, the Xbox One. It, it's not going to stay exclusive, but it's definitely exclusive to them for now. I, I, I love me some Peggle, I'm sorry. And over on the Sony side, not really a lot. It's like, I mean, that, that's exclusive anyway. As a matter of fact, as far as exclusives are concerned, no, nah, no. Nah. I think the things I'd get for the for the PlayStation 4 at this point would also be available on the Xbox One. You have, you know, your Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, and uh, Watch Dogs. That's pretty much it. Now, there is stuff, like I said in my last video, coming out later on. There's things like Infamous, Second Son. That, that's going to be my game. There is no question that that's, I'm going to be playing that. So as far as launch titles are goes, like I'm gonna give the nod to the Xbox One right now, as as it currently stands. But I gotta also look at the future. You got developers like Naughty Dog producing games for for the uh, for the PlayStation Four. So simple fact of the matter, they're pretty much gonna get my money. What about you guys? What are you guys interested in? I asked you this before, but that was before the the entire launch window lineup was kind of more secured. We kind of know what we're getting now in our next generation consoles. So what's it gonna be? Xbox One, PlayStation 4, sticking with the PS3 for, for the time being, which honestly isn't that bad of an idea because you have games like Grand Theft Auto V and, of course, Grand Theft Auto Online, and I am going to be all over that, I promise you. And then Beyond Two Souls coming out later on this year from Quantic Dream. It, it's a good time to be a gamer in general. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have fun. Look around the internet, see what, what all the news is coming out of Gamescom. See if there's anything that you're interested in. Let me know what you're leaning towards in the comments. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and give me a like if you like this video. Subscribe, and remember, you can always find me on Google+. All of you.